So, Midjourney's new competitor called Flux One just launched, and on their website they say that they are a new era of creation. In this video, I'm going to show you the types of images that you can generate using this new software and how you can generate images both through a third party website, because it's somewhat difficult to generate images through their site as of right now, or even through an API. And the good news that when you generate videos through both methods, at the moment it is free. So definitely something that you should jump on right now and get started with it. So these are some of the images that are created. And when you look at that, I think at first glance it's quite an insane image. Same with this. So as you can see, the quality is pretty spectacular. One thing that is really being mentioned when it comes to Flux One is its ability to create text, something that has been a problem with both OpenAI Study Tree and sometimes even with Midjourney. So this is something that Flux One apparently seeks to kind of get into and resolve. So and anyway, enough talking, let's get right into it. If you go to Black Forest Labs website and hit get flux you will be taken to this page which is the getting started page or technically you get taken to the bottom of this page and then you have different options you can use their api which is what takes you to this page but the problem is that accounts are only activated for selected partners or you can try it on different platforms like replicate or this one right here which is called fa I or a fail.ai. Anyway, so these are both valid options. The problem with Replicate, which I've used in the past, is that it costs per run. So if I go down the page, it costs about 5.5 .5 cents per image, which is, I mean, not a bad thing if you're generating high quality images like that. However, there is a better way, and I found this option, which is called glyph.app. And what this does is that it allows you to build fun AI apps according to their website. So you can build different steps to tell the glyph, first do this, then do that, and so on and so forth. So when you sign in to glyph, which is free, and you hit build, you get taken to this screen, which is start building with glyph blocks. And for the sake of this video, it's just about hitting the plus button, having a text input, which is where you can say, okay, tell me what the image should be about. There's a typo right there. Then I can hit plus image generator. So here to describe the image, I'm going to add the input one, which is the input from this box right here. What is important is that for the image generation model, I choose Flux. So there's Flux Pro, Dev and Schnell. You can choose Flux Pro, choose the image size that you want, 69, and that's pretty much it. So you can publish this, or you can even run it through the Glyph interface right here. When you publish it, you get something that's a bit more shiny, I guess. So you get this interface that you can share with others as well, so they can create once they sign in. And I mean, either or generate the same result. So testing this out, let's say a man in a computer, a 30 year old man on his laptop, drinking coffee and working. If I hit run, this is telling me what it's doing. So it's getting that input and now it's generating the image based on this module right here. And in a few seconds, you get the output. So yeah, that's it right there. So pretty high quality standard image based on a very simple prompt that is not even half decent. What you can also do here in between the first and the second prompt can also combine with different models. So somewhere here, I, I believe I saw, I haven't, yeah, text generator, a large language model, maybe. Somewhere I saw that you had the ability to connect to Claude or ChatGPT, so you could technically improve the prompt that you put in right there. However, it's not something that I've tried myself as of now, because I was quite happy with the images that were generated. Anyway, so I'll have to look deeper into that but anyway just to keep going with this video so this is one way to generate images through this glyph.app web interface so once you share this link with with anyone 
So if I went to publish, I can give it a name here instead of untitled. And then if I go to my glyphs right here, I'm able to see the ones I generated. If you share one with people, so let's say I go to this, I can also see the past generations, like man speaking on his phone on a train. And yeah, you have a history of the images you've generated in the past. So this is all free right now. And definitely something I urge you to check out. What I will also mention is that Glyphs have an API. So you search for a Glyph API. They have a very simple API that you can connect to and generate images programmatically. So all it takes is just getting a free token right here and then running this JSON code to authorize your request and then passing the ID of the Glyph, which you find right here. And then you provide the input. And to give you an example of what that could look like, I created the simple automation that takes a Slack message in a specific channel, makes a request to Glyph, and then outputs the result in a different channel. So as you can see here, I make the authorization up top, and then I just pass on the ID of my Glyph along with the input from the Slack channel. And if I had to run this, so if I run that once, this is listening for a Slack message coming in. So here if I say, um, I don't know, dog on a beach running with a bone in mouth. Again, not the best prompt ever. This is going to this automation. It's generating the image. And then in a few seconds, I'll get the response back in Slack. So, da -da -da -da, waiting a few seconds, and in Slack I should now have the response right there. So, pretty interesting way and free to connect to the API that uh, Glyph provides, and then using the Flux one from Black Forest Lab to generate images. Just something you might want to try out. If you want to try make.com, which is my favorite no-code automation tool, I'll leave a link in the description. You can get started for free. You get about a thousand operations to try out the software. And it's pretty simple to connect things together and pass data from one source to another. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Try out Glyphs and Flux. And yeah, let me know how it goes.